Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the La Resistance expansion as the French Empire. Alright, so a few things to get us started here. As I posted in my pink comment on the last episode, we do need to get some dockyards assigned, which we have all of our dockyards currently uh, repairing right now. That's the reason why we don't have any here. Uh, but we need to get some dockyards assigned to do some convoys because we don't actually have any building yet uh, We'll just do the two here. I suppose. I mean we're not really losing a lot I guess we'll do one for now and we'll need to pull that from Somewhere let's pull it from submarines. I guess All right, and so that'd be well, we have ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Okay, so we'd actually have to pull from here as well All right, so that looks uh, pretty good. Yeah, we're good to go uh, so we needed to do that and then also I'm gonna pull the divisions off of the Spanish front You know, we needed them here for uh, When you know the Carlos Spain was there and uh, you know we had to prepare against them uh, Joining the war which they did but of course they joined it too late. So we were, didn't really get much. We got one stupid little province here Unfortunately, but this does stop I believe this does stop the uh, Spanish from going through certain focuses where they have to have control of uh, this state right here Navarra uh, so they won't be able to do some of their focuses because we have control of that one province. Uh, so that's going to screw them over. Uh, so I guess there's that advantage of taking that one province. But uh, for the most part, yeah, we didn't get nothing from it because they, they joined the conflict so late. Uh, so let's go on. and move these troops. We don't really need them here anymore. Uh, move them over to other fronts. Uh, and I think we're going to move some over to this uh, army right here. Because, uh, yeah, we don't really have very many troops over there. So let's move, I'm thinking like uh, quite a few of these. Now, what do we have? Currently eight, maybe like half of them. Attention. Let's move like half of them over there. Get them coming over to this front. And then the other half of them will then come over to... Écoutez. I'll just select these four here. Uh, come over to the green front. All right, awesome. So we won't have that army there anymore. And uh, that should give us more troops for our offensive here. Okay, so I think that's it. I think that's all we need to do. Uh, I did want to address one thing. Uh, about the the stability uh, The reason why I care so much about stability being under 50% uh, is the fact that there's some really nasty events I think I mentioned this last episode uh, There's some really nasty events that happen once you're below 50% and they could devastate our economy We've got them in several past series before I don't know if you guys recall that and they have a chance of firing So they're not for sure gonna fire but with my luck They probably will with the fact that we already have so many production issues as it is I would expect that they probably would end up firing on me. Uh, the lower you are be below 50%, uh, the more likely they are to fire as well. So that's another thing to consider. Uh, and they, uh, they're they really bad. Uh, they'll take like almost all your civilian factories away so you can't build nothing. Uh, you'll get like a massive production. Uh, well, I mean, I think it's like a 10% uh, factory output and dockyard output actually, the first one that you can get. And I think there's a second one you can get that's a little bit worse than that, maybe 20%. But every little bit matters because we already have like a 30-something percent modifier to our factory and dockyard output. Uh, so that's something to consider. But yeah, they, they take away your civilian factories. And you usually can't build much when you have that. Uh, so that's uh, definitely something we don't want to have happen. Uh, and speaking of factories, well, let's go ahead and build uh, one more dockyard, guys. Uh, so we'll get another dockyard building. Uh, well, we haven't really built dockyards up along here just yet. I guess we'll build one right there. Get another dockyard building, and then maybe some some more military factories is what I'm thinking. Well, we're actually short on civilian factories. How many is our current thing that we're researching taking? Because uh, I know we're, we're getting something right now. Oh, that's 10 factories. Okay, so that kind of explains part of where this is going. But, you know, let's get a couple more civilian factories. Uh, again, just for, you know, trade, and, and those do take civilian factories, so having these is helpful. All right, so we'll get two more civilian factories. I should keep the, fa the factories busy for a little while. All right, so we need to go back into this mode here. And Carlos Spain has capitulated. We didn't really get much from him. Uh, and that's right, I forgot we were down here in Africa. So trying to get the win there. Um, this division should help here. Uh, we could stop the attack and build our organization back up. I don't know where he's going right now. Okay, he's going to attack us, well that's okay. Let's let him attack us then. Yeah, we'll let him attack us. In fact, yeah, we'll just let him attack us for right now. I got We got to make sure that we don't end up leaving there though. And uh, we did lose two planes attempting to bomb them there. Uh, and then let's take a look at the situation here. We're trying to get these this one division here wiped out. We're also getting the win there. Okay, just make sure we got, got our troops uh, fighting down there. 
All right, so getting these guys here wiped out. It's another Italian division. And what we're going to do is go ahead and support this attack here. And then let's take a look and see what we've done over here. Two convoys sunk there. And we continue to bomb their fleet that is currently repairing here. Uh, speaking of their fleets, let me take a look here real quick. I want to say that they're... I think all of their uh, capital ships are, are currently doing the naval invasion support here. And so that means they're probably sitting in a dockyard. Uh, you know, and I don't know what invasion's been planning or whatever. But uh, we've tried bombing here in Italy and we haven't caught them. And we do have the range to do so. Oh, we sunk three destroyers there. So maybe they are in one of these two. So I think we might attempt to bomb there. Once we finish bombing here, because we're currently bombing their fleet that's that's located in that port. So we'll keep bombing there. But after that, I think we're going to switch that up. I uh, lost another plane there. All right. So they're still attacking there, weakening themselves. And let's take a look, see if we actually got these sunk yet. Not yet, but almost getting there. Uh, they're doing a lot of attacks on us right now. Uh, and most of these, they are, in Get fact, in winning. Uh, right here, they're winning. And, of course, right there, which is, I think Valuable. we got divisions going over there now. Let's put them over there trying to help out there and we're gonna move these guys down here too because they can go fairly quick all right and still need to get uh, that situation dealt with the problem right now is of course our supply issues uh or excuse me not supply but our uh equipment problems we're having such low equipment in many many areas and our production just so bad that there's not much we can do about it all right still going there and portugal capitulated and they still have their divisions here, of course, but that does mean that these divisions aren't going to have much supply anymore. Uh, they'll be much easier to defeat. Uh, that does mean that this territory has gone to Spain now, so we don't have to conquer that any longer. We just got to get that wiped out there. And this here, the territory they took from us, uh, and then we probably won't go there. All right, right. So let's go ahead and get these guys coming over here to help attack there. Uh, and let's do it instead of having both of them go over this way. We'll have like one go that way and attack while the other division Attention. comes over here and attacks. Get those guys wiped out. And there we go. We should be able to do the attack here now and get that division destroyed. Awesome. So we're just about done in Spain and we won't have to dip down there any longer. And I think, yeah, this is, oh, that's still Carlos Span time. So we'll go and conquer that as well as all this territory here. Get all that knocked out. Still trying to get these divisions here wiped out. And got an ace pilot promoted. Excellent. And let's take a look. Are we done here just yet? No, we lost the plane. We shot it down. All right, well, that's unfortunate. And we lost another submarine. Okay. Uh, we did get divisions here to stop them. That's good. Uh, how are we doing on the planning bonus? Not quite there. We're going to try and attack into those marshes again. Again, I don't know how well marsh attacks are going to go. Uh, we do have the, the ships here to provide us the bombardment bonus right there. Uh, did we get the ship sunk yet? Not quite. Alright, so we'll go ahead and let these guys get the organization back up for launching another attack here. This is in the planes, so... I just want to try and get these guys cut off because you can see that they are progressing against the Yugoslavians. Uh, let's take a look, and yeah, we are done here, so let's go and get our troops here. And uh, give them a little bit of a planning bonus, and then we're going to start attacking. Try and get that territory knocked out. Still trying to wipe those guys out. And are we done here? We are done here. All right, awesome. So now that that's done, uh, we can go ahead and start bringing them back to the ports. Some of them are already in the ports. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put this guy back where we took him from, Madagascar. Let's go move him over there. I was just taking a look to see if there's anywhere else we needed to assign him. Uh, and we'll probably keep several divisions here in Africa, I think. Yeah, so we'll move that guy there. I mean, he's already going there. Move this guy over here. Or, excuse me, right there. Just kind of protect these ports that we have here. And he'll go over there. All right. And then we're just about done wrapping that up. So Africa is in a very good position. We did get the protect the rights of man. And, and that's the reason why I wanted to address the why I care about the stability is because we are getting that 5% stability. And I think some people might uh, disagree with uh, the importance of getting that, um, because th th those events, man, they are, they are bad. Uh, so I just didn't want them, uh, that to fire. So I want to hurry up and get the stability as high as possible. Uh, let's go ahead and start, let's get those civilian factories, guys, so we can get this research slot. We do still need to get that other one that reduces our, uh, penalty here for the inefficient economy. 
Uh, we'll get the civilian factories first, though. That'll allow us to build a lot more. In fact, we probably didn't need to build uh, these civilian factories. I forgot we were getting that. So yeah, we don't need these. And we didn't even start building them. Yeah, I just completely forgot about that. Uh, so yeah, we don't need those. And so we'll just go for military factories because we continue to find ourselves needing more. Uh, so let's go with these 70% locations here. All right, excellent. Uh, so they're attacking us. Uh, so that's going to keep us from attacking them. Uh, we are, in fact, losing that attack there. We'll just uh, wait until we get the rest of our troops here. And we almost have them here. And I'm thinking about pulling these guys out now. Uh, and just kind of moving them uh, over to just over to Palermo or something. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, just basically to uh, give them a fallback line here. Oops. Or, you know, actually, we can just put them into this army. Uh, but yeah, I don't really want these guys fighting. They're pretty garbage. So uh, same with this division here. Let's we'll put them over here for now. Yeah, because those divisions are pretty crappy, so they're going to take high casualties and lose a lot of equipment. Uh, we lost five destroyers here. Uh, we just don't get our our uh, fleet over there quick enough, man. And that's what the problem is. Can't get them over there uh, soon enough to, uh, and I'm talking about this this fleet here, uh, soon enough to deal with them. And apparently our bombers aren't, aren't doing the trick either. Okay. Uh, how are we doing on equipment? Have we started making any dents in it? Not really. It doesn't feel like we are. A wild ace appears. We're gaining a nice war support there. Maybe we'll actually be able to get over 50% eventually here. And can we do the invasion? Let's take a look. Or the attack, I should say. We can. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to attack with all the red, red army troops. Send one blue army guy in, and the other one will support that attack. As will he. Hopefully we'll win there. There's nowhere else to attack better than the marsh. Uh, the mountains are worse. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't look like we can win there, guys. Yeah, I just can't do it, man. I don't know, maybe. It's kind of ticking back and forth. Uh, let's see, we got the localized training centers. All right, so that's good. Uh, we can go get the anti-partisans next. So, uh, we could also, I suppose this is what we'll do. We'll do the decryption power first. Let's go and get that. We'll better get those done faster. Uh, and we have a decision available. I think that's from getting the localized, that localized thing. Uh, and that is down here. Okay, so this is how you you get uh, operatives from those areas. All right, interesting. So we're doing the recruitment in Europe already. Okay, is there not like, um, hmm. Okay, you know, we don't really need operatives from any of these areas right now. All right, I, I think that should make it more likely we get operatives from Europe as well. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to win here, guys. I mean, it keeps flipping back and forth. Uh, I'm really trying to get through here. Maybe. It's just uh, it's hard to say. Maybe we keep rotating divisions in there. Uh, but all these defenses are working out nicely. Uh, and these are wide open as well now. So let's go ahead and do the attack here. And we will have to attack there to make sure that division doesn't reinforce. And we're getting more troops over here as well, including a mountain division. Uh, so yeah, we're losing that attack. But again, we're just trying to push forward here and, and take that point. Uh, and they would actually defeat us there, so we have to keep that attack going now. Uh, and let's see what happened here. We, sunk, we lost another submarine, unfortunately. Uh, and what is the decisions available? Oh, yes, that's right. We wanted to go ahead and check these out. Stay here so that they don't keep notifying us about it. And then we have those recruit ones. And I don't know where the hell those are at or uh, why they keep popping up. Okay. Seems broken give you a notification for decisions that aren't in there. It's super odd. Because yeah, they're like nowhere available. Yeah. They're just not even in here. Okay, well whatever. That's strange. That seems like a bug to me. I don't know why else it would say that. Uh, so yeah, we did lose here. But we can try and do the attack again with just these troops. And send them in as support, and then any divisions that have like decent organization can then also support or can attack actually. That looks a little bit better now that we have the infantry leading the attack. I should have did that from the get go, uh, since given the uh, the type of terrain we were attacking into, probably would have been smart. And we finally have the ability to attack Luxembourg. So well, we probably should actually declare war first, huh? <laughs> so let's go ahead and declare war. Uh, and then let's uh, attack with all the surrounding troops here. Uh, well, we're not going to attack with those guys. 
and we'll attack with these here, and we should get that done soon. And of course, Italy is going to join their faction, just as we expected, well which is exactly what we wanted as well. So this guy here, um, I'm just going to put him over here for right now. We'll move them over here. I'll figure out where we're going to put them once the war is over. Uh, and we could easily cut those guys right. off, so let's go ahead and do that. We'll have to attack across a river, unfortunately, though, right. just to lock them down long enough. How long until they leave? Oh, it's four days. We could let them, let them move, because we'll actually beat them there. All right, awesome. So we are done here as well. Écoutez. And do we have a front or something? Why are these guys uh, keen on moving? There must be a front somewhere. Let's delete any... Yeah, I think that's what was going on at a front. All right, so let's go ahead and have all these guys move over to these areas here. Oops. Damn it. <laughs> and then this guy will go here for right now. We'll figure it out when the war is over, guys. Trying to get these uh, Italians knocked out. Suck another one of the destroyers and doing some bombing there. Let's go ahead and move our bombers now. I'm going to try and bomb over here and see if, uh, oh, damn, we don't really have very many uh, tactical bombers left, do we? Uh, let's try and bomb over here and see if uh, we can find them. Uh, I don't know, guys. Probably not. We'll, we'll try and see if we can uh, locate those those ships. they got to be in one of these ports, I would assume. Maybe that one. All right, so we're actually winning here. About to get that done. Uh, can win here. Let's go ahead and do the attack. Well, actually, let's go ahead and do it this way. And just support with these guys. All right, so we should be able to get a win there. I think the, the Italians are done for now, guys. Uh, and we can stop this attack here. And let's go ahead and push forward there. Grab that uh, naval base they have there. And, uh, yeah, they're pretty much done for, guys. Uh, and they're actually going into the port. All right, uh, so we can attack there with them. And Luxembourg, of course, capitulated. Was well, not too challenging there, as you'd expect. Uh, so what we want to do is now increase this front all the way across and then have Attention. all these divisions assigned here and then make sure that we build up the land forts here in Luxembourg. Uh, and we could probably go ahead and build all the way up, actually. I think that'd be a good idea. So we have level 10 forts going all the way across here. All right, so there's no weak point where they could break through there once we are at war with the Germans. And this is going to mess me up this whole time. <laughs> That damn, uh, oh man, it's like 25, yeah, it's 25 decisions or something. Well, I guess those are other ones as well. Yeah, I, I don't know, uh, I don't know where it's at. Uh, it, it, it feels like it should be down here somewhere. Have you guys experienced this issue, these, uh, decisions and the recruit ones and them not being available since you guys have been playing the game? Cause I'm curious what the hell is going on there. Uh, it's weird. And like, what are these guys doing? Oh, they're supposed to be over here. They're supposed to stay over there. Whatever, it's fine. Uh, they can go into this port. I don't care. All right, so we do have a military factory to get assigned, and uh, we're probably going to have to keep on putting it towards the support equipment. Uh, well, artillery is actually in a worse uh, position now. We'll put it into the artillery then. Starting to finally deal with these uh, production issues. They're getting better. I think having the stability, yeah, that's that's helped a lot. That's like 10% negative modifier that we're no longer getting, so that's helpful. Uh, let's go and attack over this way now, just to kind of stop that attack. And we are still losing here now. Damn it. All right, let me just take a look here. Let's pull these all back. And then we'll attack with whoever can. Uh, so we have these three here. Let's go ahead and not send him in. Attack with the infantry again. And then any divisions that have low organization, we'll let them, let them rest for a little while. And just count, keep on rotating them out, and eventually we'll get that damn win. All right, and yeah, just bombing whatever ships they still have left out there. All right, so we'll tack up this way. We'll deal with that later. Although they could get behind us by going into that port. We'll send one of these divisions over there. Uh, and he can support these guys. All right, so that's clearly not going to work. We'll just stop it then. Instead, send a guy up here. We got the improved infantry equipment too. Excellent. That's a nice passive bonus for us. Uh, and we need to get the tanks so I can start building those as medium tanks. Uh, and I'd like to build a build out a medium tank design. Uh, so we might get that now, though I'm looking to get passive bonuses initially, uh, which we definitely need because we can't get the mobile warfare doctrine. We can't do any doctrines because of our our uh, you know that that national spirit we have reducing it. So we need all the passive bonuses we can get. So we'll get that 10%. We do have a lot of artillery, so I think it'd be helpful. All right, so we have stopped the attack here. So let's go and attack. 
this way. We're gonna, uh, and we don't no longer need to do that anymore. Let's go and push forward there. And it does look like we have one there. Excellent. All right, let's go and push forward now. And uh, we'll take one of these infantry and have him stay here. All right, so we finally got there. It took us long enough, but we did it. Now let's go and attack over this way. And then have one more attack that way. And then we're going to attack these guys once they finish up on that defense. All right, so let's go and attack over this way now. And then have, uh, let's kind of rotate these. All right, fantastic. All right, so we did get the win in both those provinces. I think the Italians, yeah, as I said, I'm pretty sure they're about done now. Uh, let's go and attack over that way. Uh, they did come from that port, as I said they might. Uh, let's go over go here now. Just get behind these guys. We won't even attack them. We'll just get behind them. And they are basically done for. Uh, just taking a look at our, our planes right now. And yeah, I don't think we are bombing anybody over here. Uh, or they're, or they're uh, you know, stopping our bombers. That could be a possibility as well, because they do have fighters there. All right, so uh, can we move over this way? We can. All right, so we're just going to want to race down here and try and beat any divisions that are coming. And also go ahead and start attacking over here now. We do have the ability to start knocking out these attacks. Uh, and then like here as well. Let's go ahead and send them over this way. Just support this attack because they are about to take Venice from us. We have cut the two sides off. Of them, so that's good. Let's go ahead and start getting these guys pushed back. Uh, and we'll go ahead and attack right there as well. That looks like that should be a win. And yeah, these guys attack here now. Make sure we get the win there. And yeah, we'll have those two go there. All right, it's looking good. Uh, and these guys are moving towards Rome. We're not getting a bonus here anymore. What we might want to do is then send them, well, no, they'll bomb us over there. Let's have them go here, just in case we run into any divisions there. We could also have them help down here to provide bombardment bonuses. Still attacking over that way. Uh, let's see if we can't win here. They started sending a lot more troops over here, and we don't have a planning bonus. So let's go ahead and get that. Won't be able to get behind them. All right, yeah, this is not going to work. Let's go ahead and stop that. All right, so the, everything else is good. Uh, along there, and this is just gonna irritate me, man. Cause I'm, I'm gonna have to click it away, guys. Or I'm gonna keep on clicking on it. Uh, let's go and push down towards Rome and Anzio, and then Naples, and that should be the win. Uh, that should be all we need to do. Uh, so we're winning across here. I think we're gonna go ahead and have uh, we'll have these guys attack here. Just kind of lock those guys down for a little bit, and then have them attack as well. Again, just trying to lock these troops down. Uh, well, that didn't work. That was not very effective at all. But we don't want them uh, getting down here too quickly. Uh, and it does look like that's the limits that we'll be able to advance. Alright, um, so what we want to go ahead and do is have the Green Army focus on covering this for us. This little area. And it's just kind of really stretched out the fronts overall. Alright, and these guys are attacking there. Let's have uh, another division oh, no. attack that way. All these guys attack here. Just kind of lock the, them down so they don't come down here and reinforce them. Uh, we are winning there as well, so that's good to see. Could attack here, but we're about to get these guys cut off, or maybe not. Maybe we won't get them cut off. I don't know if we can get the win there. Maybe if we pull back on some of these weaker ones. Perhaps. Uh, we're not winning there either. Okay. Uh, we did get a, a dockyard, uh, so I just want to get those assigned. Uh, and we want to do, we have the carriers building. Let's do more into the destroyers and the submarines. Uh, well, it looks like we only had one dockyard. Okay, uh, so that thing going down here, it looks you. like they have pulled the divisions back there. All right, uh, and we need to finish that attack, wipe that division out that is currently cut off. Uh, oh yes, and here, I completely forgot about this. I don't know what happened there. Huh, that's weird. All right, well, whatever. Somehow he beat us there. Not entirely sure what happened there. And we still have that. I didn't realize we still had this territory here. My bad, guys. Uh, let's go and get this all conquered then. And I don't even want to give him front lines almost because that's resulting in all the divisions moving there. You know what? We won't go with front lines. Because, yeah, I don't want them to uh, move there. Uh, let's move over here. All right, um, and hopefully all the other ones stay in their ports for right now. 
All right, so yeah, we just won't use uh, front lines because I mean it's not really necessary at this point. All right, it's not for those guys. There's barely anybody left to fight. Africa's essentially uh, finished up. All right, it's so pushing forward there. The Italians can't possibly stand for much longer. And yeah, we're just gonna have to end all these these losses here. Let all our divisions kind of move around. Uh, we should get that port right there, which I think cuts them off. Yeah, they will be completely cut off from supply at that right. point. Once we get the port. Which we should have in mere moments. Alright, awesome. Let's go and push forward here now. And let's move these guys this to start blocking those guys down. Uh, let's go and support this. Try and get that wrapped up a little bit sooner. Alright, and uh, Rome is wide open, so let's go ahead and move there and grab it. Uh, it might move somebody there, but it looks like he's moving elsewhere, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, already pushing for it there. Let's go and attack here just to lock them down. And I don't know exactly what's going on here. <laughs> We're in the same province, and that's weird. All right. And they should be getting a, a bonus here. They're attacking us. Yeah, that's a, a shame. Um, but we are in Rome. We have taken the capital. I thought we would have had an event about that. And uh, we're going to tell them no. Let's go push forward here. Uh, getting Florence would help. Oh, there's the event. All right, excellent. And let's go ahead and have... Well, these guys got pretty low organization because they just moved there. So we're going to have to wait. Be patient. All right, so if we could just win somewhere right here, we could get those guys cut off. We're having some difficulty getting those wins, though. Uh, and they are also attacking us here, so we're going to need to stop that attack so we can defend better. We're just kind of waiting to get more troops here so they don't take that port from us. Uh, and this is what we could do. We can go and attack over here, and that'll help push them back some. And uh, then also maybe get... He's already going over there, but let's make him retreat over that way. And we have military factories get assigned. Well, let's get them all going into the artillery, any ones we get here. Take a look at uh, what we sunk here, more Italian convoys. Okay. And yeah, we didn't have any any luck bombing there. Uh, I don't know where the hell their, their ships are, are based out of. Yeah, if they're not in these ports here, then I don't know where they're at. We tried bombing these ports and didn't find any success. Never did find those capital ships. They're just they're just missing. All right, let's go push forward here. They're still able to hold Rome. Uh, how far until they capitulate? Just take a look. They are currently what's this? 99, 98 percent. So almost there. Uh, we just need to get a little bit more territory, uh, and we can stop this attack now. It's going to go up here. Oh, we were trying to lock them down. That's right. Can we get there before them? Yeah, we would get there before them. All right, so that's fine. All right, so uh, just need a, a couple more provinces and then they're done for. Uh, so this shouldn't take much longer. Just trying to get troops down to the fronts. All right, and uh, should have that wrapped up as well. Let's attack with another division. We're holding out there too, just barely. And still not able to really do anything here just yet. Uh, I think they just have too many divisions up along here. All right, and then we can go ahead and launch the attack here. And hopefully with more divisions coming, that'll be enough to... Yeah, maybe not. All right, so we got that guy going there. And what we'll do is have these guys pull back here. Go over here, just lock them down for a temporary right. amount of time there. Because they're about to take that port back from us. So that's a problem. Uh, and we got another dockyard. Uh, so let's go ahead and put it towards... We need more destroyers, guys. Okay, let's see what this is about. This is a destroyer. Did a little bit of damage, too. And uh, more convoys sunk. All right, uh, so the Spanish situation. Let's take Doesn't a look mean. here. All right, so they're actually attacking us there. All right. So the Portuguese are still here, still fighting. Not giving up. Uh, but uh, they sh yeah, there's still that naval base there. They can get supply through. I was going to say they can't get supply, but yeah, they do have supply there. Could always bring another division over there to them, and I guess we will. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let me just see where we want to move them from. Let's move them from right here, I suppose. Get them coming up over there to help us out. And then I suppose we will have to move these divisions down here. Wasn't gonna. Uh, but looks like we're gonna have to. And we are facing supply there, supply problems, so... Although it's not... Yeah, it's the desert right there. So hopefully we won't face them there. Okay, so they're still trying to get Rome back. I don't think they will be able to achieve that. 
Uh, we're attacking here and losing, so we'll stop that attack. We're just trying to go for easy attacks that aren't going to cost us much, guys. Because uh, we've already we've already lost a lot in this conflict. Uh, so yeah, just trying to do the easy attacks at this point. Let me pull these guys back. They're clearly not helping out much. Uh, and then we can do these attacks here. Should be a little bit more likely to succeed. Alright, so we got more divisions there. They can't win now. Alright, awesome. So, let's try an attack here. Oh, that's the mountains. Even though we can win, we're not going to do that attack. That's stupid. Uh, let's instead attack over here. And that should be an easy win there. Yeah, but mostly just trying to take provinces where they're not defending or there's just barely any troops or whatever. Just real easy attacks. Should be a win here, though, just to kind of help this out since they are currently attacking us. You don't need much more. It's like literally a couple more, maybe one or two more provinces and then we'll have the win. Uh, especially if it's one of these victory points, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to try and attack here. And then send that guy in and should be it. Getting Florence should be uh, the Italians capitulating, which means everybody else is defeated as well. I'll go over this way. Alright, so looking good. Uh, there's a river here, so we won't attack across there. Winning there. And uh, Florence should be ours, which will be the win. Uh, so these guys are not going to win there. There's more divisions there now than there was before. Uh, we can try and do the attack here, which will cut these guys off again. This is probably unnecessary, but we'll make it happen. Alright, these guys all need to repair their organization. They did not win here, so we got the win. All right, awesome. I haven't really been adjusting the fronts and stuff. Uh, and India declared war in India, so they have a civil war going on in India, apparently. Yeah, we got a little bit of a civil war here. Uh, and one side's with the allies, and the other one is a communist one. Oh. If these guys end up joining uh, the common turn, because the non-aligned one is already part of the allies. Uh, remember, the allies are a communist faction. So they would have joined uh, the Allies, uh, but because they're already against somebody in the Allies, they might join the Common Turn, which might result in war with Britain and the Common Turn. Okay, that's weird. I was kind of wanting Britain to ally with them. I'm, I'm a little bit regretting having the British go with the the communist route. Uh, I was thinking like, you know, one, I was trying to create you know several strong communist powers in the, in the British and, and, and the Soviets, as well as everybody else. We turned communist. Uh, you know, we have Yugoslavia over here that would have, so it's been kind of like surrounding Europe or whatever. Uh, and then, you know, these guys might go communist as well, the Scandinavians, although it doesn't look like any of them are right now. No, not really. Uh, but they have, sometimes they do. Uh, but yeah, I was trying to create like a strong communist power, but I didn't really think about the fact that they were going to be in the Allies and they're going to remain in the Allies. So you'd end up having two communist factions, which just results in, you know, splitting the factions. Uh, so I didn't really think about that. So I kind of regret it. And then the other thing is that. Uh, the British have decolonized going that route, and so overall, uh, you know, weakens them, and also makes it so we can easily expand in, in much of the old territory they had, especially in Africa, uh, and as well as over here in Asia. Uh, so we'll be able to expand into there without uh, having to fight their faction. Uh, but to get radio interceptions, that means we will be able to uh, decrypt faster, so I think that'll be helpful. Uh, we could also do the cryptology, so it'll be harder for them to decrypt on us. Uh, let's see what else we have here that we might want to do. I know I want to do the diplomatic mission against the Americans because I want them to join our faction, but we don't have a faction yet, so I'm not able to do that just yet. Uh, let me just see here if there's anything else that we can do that would be helpful for us immediately. I don't think so, guys, except for the anti-partisans and the passive defense, uh, as well as the uh, this one here. So we're going to get the cryptology level because we haven't done that yet. Make it harder for people to decrypt us. I gotta put more of an investment into it. Uh, it takes them longer. Sunk another one of their destroyers and more of their convoys. At this point, I guess it's not really all that important that we look at that anymore. All right, so uh, not gonna be able to get Naples just yet. Let's just go ahead and support this and we'll take that. That'll take away their air base from them. So that's the reason why we'll keep it going. And again, I'm surprised they haven't capitulated yet at this point because uh, we have taken. Oh, well, we haven't taken Florence yet. And Japan just declared war. So Japan is now at war with the uh, common turn. Okay. And they do have their own faction as well, which does have the Dutch East Indies in it. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, they're a puppet of them.
Okay, so they gave it up, I suppose. So we can't get control of the Dutch East Indies with an attack on the, the Netherlands anymore. That's not an option since they are now in the Japanese faction. But I don't know if uh, expanding our uh, territory in Asia would be a good thing anyway if we want to mostly fight in Europe. Uh, but yeah, they uh, are going anti-communist here, as the, the democratic Japanese do. And uh, they are already at war. Uh, so that's interesting. That means the Soviet Union is going to be distracted over there. Uh, but luckily for them, this war is just about over here. Uh, so, a little bit of concentrate on that conflict. We just need to get our organization up for a lot of our divisions. Our divisions kind of like uh, weak or whatever. I uh, don't want to attack there. Can we? Can we beat these guys here? Oh, it's very, very close, man. Uh, all right. Well then, let's go and attack them. I know it's across the river, but might as well. Might as well. And uh, maybe get a win there. I guess about the support. Yeah, we'll get a win there. All right, so it's just a matter of time, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get these guys wiped out as well. No, maybe not. They're still too strong. Make sure that they stay here. Also, we have a uh, dockyard. Uh, so let's get this sign. We're going to put it into the uh, convoys for right now. And uh, take a look and see what we've done over here. And uh, our bombers haven't had any success, guys. None at all. Uh, finding those uh, capital ships. All right, so let's go and attack over this way. We have more troops there as well, so let's go and bring these guys through here. Bring, we'll bring two of them over here. Let's go and get them cut off. Uh, taking that port, that'll cut off all the troops that are here. Uh, stop this attack instead attack from, or well, it'll just be easier to let them go. <laughs> we'll just cut them off, man. All right, so we'll go over that way, and we have another division still coming up over this way as well. And sunk another. Italian convoy. All that is getting us uh, that precious Navy experience. And there we go. Stalinist victory in the Spanish Civil War. So Spanish Civil War is over. Uh, and then we got the approved computing machines. Uh, and so we'll be able to see what we can do here. I'll be really irritated if they puppeted Italy. They did not. All right. Because uh, I was going to say, I mean, we did all of that there. Uh, I didn't see what our total casualties were. That's a shame. I wish I had looked at that. I knew the war was going to end soon. I didn't look at it. So that was my bad. Uh, but we want to puppet them first to make sure that the uh, that the Soviets don't do that. Uh, so we're going to puppet them. Uh, Luxembourg, we want to make sure we annex them, take that territory so we don't have Soviets there. We just did not get enough points in the war, man. That's yeah, a bummer. Even though we are the ones who won the war. Uh, we fought in Africa. I mean, all they did was beat Portugal. That was it. They didn't do anything else in this war. Uh, they fought against the Italians in Yugoslavia, but that's it. But they took a lot of casualties, so therefore, as always, they get way more points than they should. All right, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and annex here. So we're going to take that. Um, so we'll have that annexed, and that's important to us. We want to go ahead and annex some of uh, northern Italy as well, though it doesn't look like we can even do that. It's just too expensive. All right, well, let's take that at least. And then we can take their little islands, I suppose. These would be useful to have. And, and we're just not going to be able to get much, honestly. There's nobody else I want to puppet. The Bulgarians can they can be in the, uh, the common turn. That's fine. Uh, could go ahead and get the island right there. We'll get that one. I think that's important for the way our empire looks. Oh, it looks like we've already done too much. Alright. That's a shame. I'll we'll have to pull that one back. How much is this one worth? We're nine points. We could take the islands there, I suppose, if it's yeah, it's cheap enough, so might as well. Uh, and we do want to take over this area here. So that's another thing to consider. Alright, frankly, there's a lot of stuff that we need to do here, guys. We just don't have very many points, which is a damn shame, man. Yeah, all right. We can go ahead and start taking over the territory here. This is going to end up being weird, though, if uh, we can't get control of all this. They might end up liberating them, which would be a real shame. Uh, there is some rubber and oil here I'd like to have. The, the oil there as well would be nice. Hmm. I guess we can, like, not take these islands. This will give us a little bit of points to uh, come back here. At least get that oil, and uh, we'll control that too, uh, given that's just free. That's not worth anything. And then we can get this here, but this could end up being really weird, man. <laughs> uh, top about some map gore. Yeah, this would be super weird if they ended up uh, freeing this here, but whatever. Uh, it's fine. We'll just take this, and then they'll be able to take the, uh, yeah, they'll be able to take these. Just trying to take what I can, guys. 
Uh, can we get these two? The two points? No. That's all we can do. Unless there's like a one pointer something. Uh, nah, there's not gonna be. Five points there, four points there, seven points there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be able to do, guys. That's unfortunate. Uh, but luckily they did concentrate on America first. Uh, let's see what they did next. Uh, they did por uh, puppet Greater Portugal, including all their stuff. And uh, also Satellite Angola. All right, so that's a shame. So what can we do with a little bit of points left? Yeah, they got all Portugal and all their territories. That's that's a bummer, man. I wish we had gotten Angola. That would have been nice, but it's just too expensive. And then I think they got North Angola too, didn't they? Yeah, they got North Angola. So that's going to be a, you know, a separate country, which sucks because it would have been great to not have to fight in Africa uh, against the communist, but not an option. It just sucks we have so few points, man. The Soviets are going to get to do whatever the hell they want, man. It's just a real bummer. Uh, so we got to concentrate on this so they can't s satellite them. Uh, that's the key. Um, and I'm not going to try and go after, probably not going to try and go after Ethiopia, guys. More than likely just going to let them have that because they're so limited on what we, what can, what we can do here. Uh, and we can go ahead and give some territory to the Italians, I suppose. Because we're not going to be able to take what I want to take up here. Could take that, but yeah, we got to get the rest of this first. Can we get Sardinia? We can. I want to take Sardinia for ourselves, so we'll get that. The Italians are going to lose that. Uh, and we can take Rhodes as well. Uh, no, we can't. We don't have the points for that. That's right, we have 72. So we probably won't be able to get anything else, but let's just take a look and see if there's anything really cheap for the Italians. Oh, that's 35. I said I said 5. <laughs> that is not correct. All right, so I guess that's it. That's all we're going to be able to do. That's all we have the points for. Uh, I don't think there's... Yeah, that's, they did take all the Portuguese territory, as you can see here, so that's not uh, an option. It's just the Italians and the Bulgarians. So let's just go ahead and end our turn and then see what they do. So they did take Albania from Italy. Yeah, they took the territory there, which that's fitting. That's Yugoslavia is next to them there. Uh, and they did take right there, that little island. And they started taking the Ethiopian territory. Okay. So we'll take what we can here. We might have to wait, though, guys. Because it's just uh, it's too expensive. I mean, we could get, like, a little bit of territory for the Italians. But, I mean, we're talking about, like, one state. It's just better to just pass. They satellite it, so we can have a little Austria there. Oh, that's great. Satellite Ethiopia. <sighs> the fucking Soviets, man. <laughs> I hate that they got so many damn points. It's so irritating. Irritating, guys. All right, so we'll take that for ourselves and try and get something. We can't even get nothing for Italy. All right. It's a real bummer, and that's the cheapest one. Uh, there is this one here, but yeah, I can't even get that either. All right, well, whatever. We can get this one. Nope, can't get that one either. All right, so they're going to basically be able to get whatever the hell they want. And there's just not a whole lot I can do about it, guys. So we got that. Uh, they're still taking territory over there. And I think there's nothing left. Yeah, there's nothing left at this point. We're going to have to pass again because we just don't have enough points to do anything here. All right, so now the question is, do we want to give Italy the territory up here? Or do we want to take that for ourselves? I mean, we can't even take anything for ourselves. Let's see if we can do uh, something for Italy here. We can do one. <laughs> I guess we'll give them, I guess we'll give them Tuscany. Yeah, I suppose we'll give them Tuscany. Uh, and is there anything else we can give them? Sicily? The south there? Nah, they can't do anything. You know what? Let's just pass. It doesn't look like they're taking anything else. What if I passed again? They might be done. They might not be uh, concerned about anything else anymore. And they're not even dealing with Bulgaria. That's interesting. Not entirely sure why they're not. Uh, so let's go ahead and take this territory for the Italians. And just can't get a lot for them. Uh, what about Tuscany here? I can't get that. Can we get this? Okay, we can get this here, so this is what we'll do. So that, nope. Huh. Is that one more expensive? It is. Okay, I didn't realize that. Alright, so we're going to do all that, uh, and hopefully they don't do anything weird here, guys. Can't really control if they do, though, uh, what the, uh, the Soviets do. Let's see what they did. Alright. I don't know why they can't, they're not dealing with Bulgaria. That's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, that's... I'm not entirely sure what they're doing there. 
maybe we will get Bulgaria, not even intentionally. It's just kind of end up happening. Uh, and I don't think we'll be able to get any territory up here for ourselves. No. How about getting that for the Italians? Nah, we just don't have enough. But I do think it's key that we get that for them. Just so this this connects. It's going to end our turn, see what they do. I'm, I'm curious why they're not doing anything with the... Yeah, uh, I'm doing anything with the Bulgarians. Alright, so we're going to get Sicily for Italy. Uh, and... We could just take that one province here, but I kind of want to go into Italy a little bit more, get some of this territory here, uh, and could go all the way up to Venice here, so that gives us a, maybe take all northern Italy, like so, but of course we can't do that yet. And then the question is, should I take this one or give that to the Italians? Which one would look better? I kind of want to, I think we'll take it for ourselves. Screw the Italians. <laughs> they can have Sicily. Uh, but that is all we're going to be able to get for them. Huh, I thought this is up here. So, yeah, that's that's unfortunate. We'll get it for him right now, and then we'll uh, end our turn and just have to uh, pass a couple times. Yeah, I don't think they can do anything with Bulgaria. I don't even, I don't even know if they have the option to do anything. Uh, that's a possibility. All right, so we can get all this done. Uh, so now let's take a look at Bulgaria. I don't want to annex them. I suppose we'd just puppet them. Yeah, let's just puppet them. Until we have to end our turn and then give them the rest of their territory. And uh, Bulgaria. Give them that territory, though we don't have any points. Can we, can't give them one? Nope. Let's try now. Huh. <laughs> Why can't we give them shit, man? All right, let's try this again. We'll have to do them one at a time. <laughs> this is so bad, man. Like, they're not even interested in taking it, but we can't can't get it done. All right, so the Bulgarians is now a puppet. Uh, this is the way this will look. It might have been better to give this one to Italy. I don't know, uh, but it's fine. It's too late now. We have it. Uh, and, and that did get us uh, some stuff here with military factories, civilian factories, and of course some aluminum, which will be important for our uh, plane production. Uh, so that is it. That's the peace treaty, guys. Didn't quite go the way I would have wanted it to. They had too many damn points, uh, which is unfortunate since we did most of the work here. They really only helped, in, again, in Spain and, and Portugal. It's really all they did. Uh, Yugoslavians lost a lot of dudes. Uh, I wish we had seen how many casualties we had taken. I don't think it was many, though. Uh, so... Oh, yes, that's right. We still have these stupid decisions available. <laughs> Damn it, man. I wish that would, uh, yeah, I wish I could figure out what the hell's going on there. All right, so this is the way things look. Uh, so if we look at the common turn, they did get uh, a bunch of territory in Africa. So that's going to require us to keep troops here. Um, this is another area we'll probably just, uh, I don't know, we'll probably just give that up to them. Uh, I don't know that I'll actually defend that. They'll, have, they'll be able to put too many troops around here. But we will take this as soon as we go to war with the communists. So we want uh, troops right there. We want a division right there at least. Uh, and then we'll Got want a division wall. here as well to kind of take out this area. And let me see where else they're at here. Oops. Uh, so, of course, the Spanish are here and they're in the common turn. So we'll need divisions here so. to uh, take this area out. Uh, we'll probably just have a couple Wait, divisions here. And the rest of these guys are going to move Bye. elsewhere. Move those guys, have them move as well. Oops. Move those out. Just have like two divisions right there. And then uh, have these guys here. Yep, they can stay right there. We'll try and wrap this territory up here. Hopefully that'll be enough divisions. Might not be. We'll bring these guys over here just in case. Uh, and then do we need any more troops in this area? We'll probably need some here. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys go over to the port. I think that was the port province. Could have been wrong though. Have them come on over here. Uh, and right. we actually have another division here. We could, I suppose, let a, a guy in trench over here. Why not? Uh, there's a naval base there that we could use to bomb any troops going through the Red Sea. So we're going to put one division over there. Putting these guys going over here. We're going to have to put divisions up over here again. Uh, we actually have a division somewhere. Attention. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where all these uh, where all those divisions went. I'll have to find them. 
All right, uh, this is fine. We'll leave it as is for now. Let them get moving to where they're at, so I can have a good idea of what uh, what they're doing. Uh, so, uh, what do we want to get next? I guess we can go after the uh, medium tanks now, so we can start getting those built. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, although, we'll probably just get these ones and then go straight to the next ones. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Uh, we could also get the light tanks as well. We're not in 1941 yet. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. I, I'm getting confused between this and the Portuguese series, uh, where we're a bit further further along. Uh, so we're going to want to pull 24 divisions over here, and we're not going to want these uh, cruddy divisions, so we're going to want to pull some of those out. Uh, but we also need to get an army going up against the Dutch, because we're going to be attacking them next. Uh, we can also advance in Africa a bit as well. That's an option too. We have the uh, Egyptians who are in infaction, so we'll want to conquer them so we can send some troops over here, push into Egypt. Uh, none of these guys are in factions either, uh, so we could invade that way and connect Syria. So yeah, we might go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and attack the uh, Republic of Sudan. So I guess we could border the Soviet territories here uh, and then uh, attack uh, all throughout Ethiopia. So I suppose that is an option. All right, so yeah, maybe we'll bring some troops up along here and uh, knock these countries out that aren't part of the Allies. Uh, they did leave the Allies, so that would be an option. I didn't want to fight too much in Africa, but yeah, we might get stuck doing it. And as Napoleon, you know, it makes sense, right? We're doing a Napoleonic campaign to go into Egypt. So we'll do that. We will invade uh, invade into Egypt. Uh, as far as the rest of our troops, uh, we do need to get all their orders canceled here. So we send them on new orders. Same with these guys. Uh, it looks like they didn't have any orders. And these guys here. All right, so uh, we'll need a, a defensive so, uh, like a defensive line around here, uh, you know, we have the communists there and then of course we have Austria Hungary here Which I don't know uh, What they're doing right now. Let's just take a look at where they're at on their focus branch I'm not seeing it. We can see what they're doing. So okay. It's right down here Okay, so What does this lead to? Yes, this would end up leading to conflict eventually. I think yeah, this would uh more than likely, they probably are gonna get claims on us, you know, in you know, our territory here in Italy. Uh, so we'll probably have conflict with the uh, Austria, uh, Austria-Hungary as well. So we we'll want to have divisions up along these these territory here to cover both the Soviets and uh, we want to move all these guys out. Cover both the Soviet territory here and to uh, guard against the Austria-Hungary, and then we're gonna have one army here to invade the Dutch. And they don't have any forts along this line either. They have one right there. Uh, so it should be pretty easy to, to invade into here, uh, especially if we can go quickly and they're not able to uh, flood flood the dikes, uh, which then would make it a little bit more difficult to get across that river and attack into those provinces. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing next episode. I'll probably do, uh, I'll probably get the armies moving around a little bit uh, here off camera. Uh, and we're also going to get these all these planes unassigned too, so we'll do that as well And then we're going to just take a little bit of time at peace before we declare war on the Dutch because that could spiral into something else You just don't know uh, spend a little bit of time at peace to deal with the equipment issues guys uh, We need to get this this dealt with this is this is bad uh, So we're gonna go ahead and, and try and fix those problems try and get our economy fixed as well get, get rid of this inefficient Economy modifier get all the civilian factories we're gonna get from that then the research slot and then the military factories and then from there, we'll we'll finish this one up here. And we'll probably get that one a little bit later. Uh, same, yeah. We'll probably get this one. These go down this a little bit later. We're going to do that one. And then we need to start working down here so we can get that army reform. So we can actually research land doctrines. Uh, to get rid of that uh, Victors of the Great War national spirit, which is pretty negative. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing uh, in our focus tree. That'll be our priorities. Uh, and then, of course... Once we get those done, uh, well, we can also go this route as well once we attack the Dutch, and that'll increase daily compliance in the Netherlands. So we can get compliance really high fairly quickly. Uh, so that's something to consider. Uh, but you can't do that one until there's, you actually control them. So we'd have to attack them, and then we could do that. And so then after that, we could go down here and get the war goal against the Germans, and then finally get Disunite Germany. Uh, and that allow us to create our own faction and Czechoslovakia becomes a puppet of the French Empire. Interesting. I mean, there's no Czechoslovakia left, uh, but yeah, it's interesting that that that, that does that. Uh, so, so yeah, that's uh, what we'll be doing in the next episode. Just kind of recovering from this war, getting through the national focus tree, getting rid of some of these negative modifiers here. Uh, and one thing I should mention, and I'll mention this in the next episode as well, is uh, changing up our conscription laws. The reason why I didn't do that 
is because I read on the forums that if you change to uh, extensive conscription or any further down, uh, then this gets modified from full employment to something else. Uh, like worker shortage, I think, is what I read. I could be wrong on the name on that. But then it has, it still has the recruitable population factor, but then it also grants a negative 10% uh, to factory output and dockyard output. Uh, so France just is, is weak, man. Just really, really weak. Uh, they have so many penalties. And, and a lot of those national spirits, you got to go all the way down a, a branch to get rid of them. Uh, so, you know, and obviously they have the tech slot down here. You got to go all the way down these to get the tech slot. You got to go all the way down here to get rid of the victors of the Great War uh, to fix your economy. You got to go through here. And then, of course, you had to go down here to get rid of that one national spirit that we had. We had that one negative one that we didn't get till we got rid of. I don't know. One of these. Maybe it was this one here. Yeah, the disjointed government. Uh, so, yeah, you got to go pretty far down, you know, each uh, focus branch to get rid of a lot of your penalties. And we haven't even started on the naval or air uh, focuses just yet. So that's another thing we need to get. Uh, frankly, got a lot of stuff to do, guys. Uh, but uh, France is looking quite mighty now, looking much more powerful. Uh, we, of course, don't have a faction. Uh, so, you know, these are all our puppets, but uh, it doesn't indicate that. That's interesting. That doesn't indicate that when we're looking here at the diplomacy, uh, that those are our, our puppets. Uh, yeah, we do have puppets now. Uh, so, oops take a look at how they're looking uh, so we have we can't get them all to integrated puppets uh, which wouldn't not them but these two we might try and get them to integrated puppets so we get more stuff from them and to keep them from uh, increasing their own autonomy so we'll have to build there Bulgaria is our puppet as well which we were able to get them which that was surprising I would have gave up Bulgaria though to have some of these these colonies here in Africa or to even get uh, Portugal that would have been even better but that wasn't gonna happen they were too expensive just a bummer we couldn't get more of this done, though, uh, in the conflict. So that's a kind of a shame. Uh, we were just short on political power the entire time. Uh, but yeah, uh, I talked enough, guys. I just wanted to kind of explain what we're doing for the next episode because we are going to end this one here. I'm going to get all the armies set up and uh, get our Air Force and Navy kind of you know, going back to, to you know, a peacetime level. No, here's what we'll do, guys, because I want to see what the casualties are in that war. I'm sure you guys want to see them, too. So let's go ahead and save this here, and then, uh, and I'm like losing my voice right now, guys. And then we're going to load up the last autosave, the 1st of June, 1940, just so we can see what the casualties were as of then. Obviously, uh, you know, it's still with a whole other month of conflict. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, okay, that's right. We were in the 1st of June. I'm a dummy. <laughs> my bad, guys. <laughs> we want to go on the 1st of May. Uh, no wonder. So that was stupid. Yeah, so let's go into the 1st of May. Uh, and then we'll see what the casualties were of here. This is where we're at of the 1st of May. Obviously, you know, we still did a lot more attacks, but we can take a look and see what the casualty, casualties were of that at, at this point here, uh, which we were at 85,000 casualties. They were at 481, so we did 373,000. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is not very, uh, yeah, this is unfortunately not very accurate. Uh, against the Portuguese, we did 20,000 while we lost uh, 5,000. So we did much better against the Portuguese. Uh, so that's good to see because remember they had killed like double of what we had killed before I also want to see what the hell is going on here in Bulgaria. Yeah, they took this territory uh, But yeah, they didn't uh, Interesting, yeah, but they weren't able to get control of it. I'm not entirely sure why that was uh, And then yeah, you can see also how we're, we're doing on the uh, war participation We only had 18% at this point now given we did conquer all this and come up here So that would have been much higher at the point of the uh, peace treaty, but Overall, uh, we had a very low war participation, which is a real shame. Yeah, it's a real bummer, guys. We just weren't getting uh, very much. Uh, we sunk 37 ships. We didn't get much from casualties since we didn't suffer high casualties. Uh, if you look at these, yeah, like Yugoslavia and uh, Soviet Union lost so many casualties, and that's where they're getting a few points. But occupation was the majority of where their points came from. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, though, that they uh, had so much higher than us. They had the bombing, so that helped them. Uh, we could have done some bombing, and that would have helped us. We didn't get any points from doing that. Uh, so that's unfortunate. Uh, we did sink more ships than they did. They didn't sink any ships. And they got the double on the casualty numbers. I'm just I'm actually surprised that they were able to do so much. I think what happened is that Spain... Hmm, Spain had all the... Yeah, they had all the participation. They had 47%. Okay. I thought it was the Soviets that had it all. It was the Spanish... Uh, because of the high amount of casualties they took and then the occupation of the rest of Spain and Portugal. 
So that's what happened there. All right, so I was curious about that. So this is not a good uh, estimate of our actual casualties since we did a lot more attacks here, obviously. Uh, that was a, a busy month of fighting there. Uh, but it gives us a little bit of idea of how we did. Basically, we did we did pretty well. Uh, so that is going to be the end of this episode. Uh, again, I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching, guys.